And I know you are a Fortune 500 PR expert. Is that how you would define it? Or is there something else that you would use as a parameter? What would that be? Well, that was my best way to put it in four words, I would say. <laughs> the nature of the job is to be able to clearly and easily define things. That's one of them. The other big thing is being able to have the right relationships. What I think is inherently incorrect about the industry is that we spend, I use the collective we here because it does not include me or what my practice does, but the collective we tends to write a elaborate, wonderful press release, spend time crafting this beautiful message, hoping, trusting, even praying that this will work. And at the end part of it, right, at the end part of that funnel is a journalist, producer, editor, TV host who has to make the decision based on, is this the right kind of news? Does this work for me? Or quite frankly and honestly, do I want to do this out of the kindness of my heart because your pitch was so amazing? To me, that is very flawed and inefficient and will probably lead to a 10% success rate, if not worse. Because and I want to answer what I think success means in this industry, but what I think PR misses tends to be, and this is where I've been able to shine as you know a person, not a giant entity that works directly with my clients, is that you pay for relationships in PR. That's the whole point. You pay for the idea and the trust that you can get something from point A to point B. What happens is if you get with a big enough agency, you tend to wind up with someone junior who's cold calling. And I think one of the things I very much realized is that I'm a little bit of a person who needs control, but I think more so I need certainty. And so I wanted to make sure that if I came to someone and said, yes, we can do this, I wasn't saying maybe. I was saying we absolutely can because I didn't want to... <laughs> sit up at night going, do I have the journal? Do I have Fast Company? Do I have CNBC? Are they going to get this? Because that idea sounds incredibly stressful to me. I do not want to play in the space where so many play. Burnout is incredible in this job. And if you get back to the idea of what is success, success is finding a place in this industry where you have some kind of certainty, where you have the right kind of relationships you've built so that you can almost trust that you can deliver a certain level of result. Maybe not the exact result every time, but a certain level of result. That to me is success. But really, honestly, success is just not burning out in the first five years in PR.